it's 2024 and it makes it over six years plus in which i've been solely focused on ux design and if i was to start all over again these are the exact steps i would take First would be understanding the domain space properly. Many people do not fully understand the domain space in which UX operates. Even a lot of people do not really understand the difference between UX and UI, which is why understanding the domain space in which you operate will be very essential for you. And this is what this is the first thing I would do if I was to start all over again learning UX design. Also discover which complementary skills I'm going to need to become successful in this role. I'm just going to take some time and really dissect all around the UX field. This is not involving me learning anything. I'm just trying to understand the difference between UX, UI, UR, product design, how they all come together, and especially some of the complementary skills like presentation, communication, how will those complementary skills which of them would be essential for me being successful in this role. So initially, I just want to identify what is missing. And when I have full understanding of this, I would now dive into understanding what design process or design thinking is. So at this stage, it's time to take your understanding to kind of the next level. What are the basic design processes and what are the basic design principles? I don't want you to get into like an unending loop of watching different, different videos. At this point, you just want to understand some of the key and fundamental concepts of design thinking, design processes, and design framework. A generally used framework is Normally like the empathize, define, ideate, prototype and test is one of the most accepted frameworks but these frameworks are not set in stones. Based on the project you're working on, you might need to iterate and skip or bring one phase before the other. It all depends on what you're working on. Once you've fully understood this aspect or just grasped the understanding of this section, it's time for you to pick a tool and actually start practicing. The most industry accepted tool right now is Figma, so that's the tool I'll advise you to start off with. There have been a lot of updates in Figma right from when they started till now, and I don't want you to spend a lot of time racking your brain and trying to understand some of the complex fundamentals of Figma and some of the, you know, more advanced method of doing design in Figma, like variable management, state management, component design. I just want you to understand how the tool works, how each of the icon works, how to import a project, how to start a project, how to manage your project. And I actually have a video for this that just introduces you to the basic concept of Figma. I have a video for that. I'll leave it in the description or in a card here. After this video, you can also watch that video to get just a basic understanding of how Figma works, how Figma works. There are other tools like Sketch. There are other tools like XD. I don't know if XD is coming back. But there are other tools. Basically, I use Figma and that is one of the most industry accepted tools right now to learn or practice UX design. Then I'm going to learn some of the basics of design. I would likely want to pick up a website or an app and try recreating this. There are different challenges out there like the 100 days UI and different UI challenges. You don't have to completely get what you're trying to recreate, but you're trying to reposition your mind into the concept of being creative and understanding some of these patterns and how they interact with design. Constantly practicing is one of the major one of the major skills I would advise you to use in becoming better and learning as fast as possible in 2024. This is not saying you should spend hours a day, spend up to six, seven hours, as little as one or two hours a day just practicing would help you to a long run. And while you're still doing that, the next thing you want to start building on is some of your soft skills and networking. You need to learn how to communicate, how to explain simple concepts in your design. You need to understand how to present designs, how to even explain an idea, how to understand the BRD, which is like a business requirement document or any document, how to convert like an idea that is written in paper into something that can be produced. And this is part of the areas where mentorship comes in place. So there are different platforms like ADP List. You want to get mentorship there. You want to meet people. You want to network. You want to start gaining of their experience so you can avoid some of the mistakes they did in their past. Just being around other designers will greatly help and give you the motivation you need to keep learning. I want you to connect with designers on LinkedIn. I want you to attend workshop. This will also help you a lot and just position your mind into gaining as much more concept as you like in UX design. When you've gotten to this stage, I want you to still constantly keep practicing, but now we are going to start learning a little bit more about the UX research concept. Now, earlier we focused more on the UI part, which is mostly just like the interface you're seeing, but now you're moving a little bit into the UX research stage, and I want you to start diving a little bit into UX research, types of UX research, 
how to perform UX research, how to document your design, how to create like a case study. And while you're doing this, you're still designing daily. For case studies, you can check best folios for some inspirations. And I don't want you to go down a rabbit hole. Right now, the case study is not your biggest problem. You actually need something to put in your case study, which is why you need to practice and start recreating as many websites or as many apps as possible to give you that constant brain repetition you need to create and even start thinking of your own brilliant ideas. So at this point, it's time to start letting people know or giving people some insight into what you're doing. You need to spread the news. You need to let people know that you're starting on this journey and you're open to get mentorship or even working for free. You want to get as much work done as possible, free, paid or unpaid, anyone you can lay your hands on. And you start using some of this to write your own personal case studies. You use this to start following and implementing the design processes, the design principles, design thinking you learned earlier when you started, using this to finally start putting a lot of pen to paper and understanding some of these concepts in what you have been learning. And the final thing I would like to tell you is to pace yourself. When I started learning UX design, I got distracted a lot of time because there were just so many things to do. There were so many tutorials, there were so many designs I needed to recreate and I was just running everywhere. You need to pace yourself, give yourself a flexible time and be realistic. Learning UX design is not something you're going to just do in one day, two days and become good at it. Over time, you get better and you keep seeing your progress as long as you put in that effort. So what I would suggest is if you can do one or two hours every day and take you know, some breaks even in the weekend, this will go a long way for you. This is not a cut in stone method and this is for people that can actually have the discipline to learn on their own. If you cannot really learn on your own, I would suggest you either go for like a training school or like a boot camp but before you go to any of this boot camp just try and do some of these readings on your own so when you actually get there you'll be able to learn and assimilate faster some of the things that you're going to learn at the boot camp this is how i would start learning ux again if i was to start from scratch i wouldn't spend all my time just reading all the concept of user research design thinking but actually spend more time practicing the actual design now let me know your thoughts, let me know how your journey has been progressing, how has your UX journey been, let me know what you would like to learn about UX, just put it in the comment section and if this has been helpful, don't forget to like or subscribe to the channel and I'll be here to help guide you throughout your journey. Peace.